Krishan Kaishin led to rest with full state honours. Leaders cutting across party lines pay last respect to the late seasoned politician. In a landmark decision, the Supreme Court rules right to privacy is a fundamental right under the Constitution. Minister Karam Sham says measures have been taken to check sale of LPG cylinders in black market. And Irrigation and Flood Control Department to introduce early flood warning system in Manipur. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Shusham with the top stories and latest news at this hour. The mortal remains of the former Chief Minister of Manipur, Rishan Kaishin, were led to rest with full state honours. The final rites were performed this uh, afternoon at his residence in Mantri Pukri. After the memorial service at MBC Church, the body of the former Chief Minister was taken to Adim Jati Ashram, of which he was a chairman. Staff of Adim Jati Ashram and students offered a floral tribute to the late politician. The body was then taken to his residence at Mantri Pukri. Chief Minister Nong Thongbambirin, his cabinet colleagues, former Chief Minister Okram Ibobi, MLAs cutting across party lines, top civil and police officials and people from different communities attended the funeral. Javans of 1st Manipur, Manipur Rifles offered a gun salute and sounded the bugle as a mark of respect to the departed soul. The body was later laid to rest in the front portion of the courtyard. Chief Minister Nong Thumbambirin described Rishang Kaishing who worked for the welfare of all communities. Responding to media query on the last rites on not being performed at his native uh, village in Pungpa Kuno due to restrictions from a certain group, the Chief Minister said he has not received any report. And what he did for the Manipur is remarkable. He tried to unify amongst the community. He doesn't have the view of differences between the hill and the plain. He never either based on the religion. He is the one who lead Manipur as a one. And uh, it is a great lo loss to the, the state of Manipur, not only to the Tangkul community, and it is a great loss of, to all of us. I think how far it is correct or not, uh, I don't know. And uh, I don't have any that kind of information right now to me. But if that happened, that is the one of the most unfortunate. Earlier in the day, Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee, MPCC, held a condolence service for the former Chief Minister, Rishan Kaishing, today at Congress Bhavan, BT Road. Leaders and workers of the Congress Party paid their last respect to the mortal remains of former Chief Minister. Former Chief Minister Okram Ibobi, former Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam, Congress MLAs and several workers of the party offered a floral tribute to the departed leader. The coffin of the late Congress leader, who was the member of the first Lok Sabha from 1952 to 1957, was draped in tricolour. The body was later taken to MBC Church Chingmeirong, where the memorial service ceremony was conducted. Former parliamentary secretary and the youngest son of Rishan Kaishing, Victor Kaishing, delivered a moving eulogy at the funeral. Several Congress leaders, Works Minister Tongam Biswajit, MLAs cutting across party lines and many people took part in the ceremony. Dr. Ram Manohar Lohaya Memorial Trust Manipur today condoles the demise of former Chief Minister Rishan Kaishing. They observed two-minute silence as a mark of respect to the departed leader. 
In a landmark decision, the Supreme Court today declares that a right to privacy is a fundamental right under the Constitution. A nine-judge Constitution bench headed by Chief Justice J.S. Kehar rules that a right to privacy is an intrinsic part of right to life and personal liberty under Article 21 and entire Part 3 of the Constitution. The ruling on the highly contentious issue was to deal with a batch of petitions challenging the center's move to make Aadhaar mandatory for availing the benefits of various social welfare schemes. Other members of the bench comprising Justices J. H. L. M. Meshwar, S. A. Bobde, R. K. Agrawal, R. F. Nariman, A. M. Sapri, D. Y. Chandrachut, S. K. Kohl and S. Abdul Nazir also shared the same view. On September 23, 2016, the Supreme Court was hearing a challenge on Delhi High Court's order which allowed WhatsApp to roll out its new privacy policy but stopped it from sharing the user data collected up to September 25, 2016 with a Facebook or any other related company. A nine-judge constitution bench headed by Chief Justice J.S. Kehar had on August 2nd reserved its verdict after hearing marathon arguments for six days over a period of three weeks, during which uh, submissions were advanced in favor and against the inclusion of the right to privacy as a fundamental right. This is the second big judgment of the Supreme Court within the span of a week. On Tuesday, the top court banned triple talaq, declaring it arbitrary and unconstitutional. Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution Minister Karam Sham today said the measures have been taken to check sale of LPG cylinders in black market. Speaking at the LPG Safety Clinic Kam Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana Awareness Program organized by MS Mahalakshmi Indian Guests at Lilong Konung Community Hall, the minister said a survey has been done and a meeting with the officials of Indian Oil Corporation IOC will be held to check sale of LPG cylinders cylinders in grey market. He also said a meeting with the LPG distributors will be held to find out beneficiaries having multiple LPG connections as LPG cylinders from consumers having multiple connections are allegedly sold in the black market. He lauded the PMUY scheme as one of the best schemes initiated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Karam Sham said even though the scheme aims to provide gas connection to more than 2,42,000 beneficiaries in the state, the number of consumers in the state is very small. He appeals for distributors' cooperation in increasing the number of consumers so that benefits extended by the scheme can be availed by the people. 88 beneficiaries under the distributor were provided a free gas connection at the program. A safety demonstration was also held for LPG consumers. Irrigation and Flood Control Department will soon introduce early flood warning system for the first time in Manipur. Chief Engineer of Irrigation and Flood Control Department G. Robin Drow said the department will establish an early flood warning system as a nodal agency under the funding of the World Bank and the Central Water Commission. He was speaking on the opening day of the first two-day World Bank mission under the National Hydrology Project at the Sangai Hall of Hotel Imphal today. Secretary of IFCD T.H. Gopen Maite, Chief Engineer IFCD Naglen, SE of Central Water Commission Shillong, consultants of World Bank and officials of IFCD attended the event. Robin Rowe further said the project will help identify as water resources, predict the rainfalls and the possibility of flood beforehand in India. 
He said the traditional methods will be replaced by electronic telemetry which will be installed in riverbeds under the project to collect data. He said the project will help the people to take precautionary measures against floods. Whole India na koi water resource hai, loi na kyaam lekin yeng thoba. Then na dagi nongse kyaam parakri yeng thoba. Masi na kyaam thi na shokani flood kyaam tauni hai se. Well in advance ta koi na madhu khang na ba madhu project ni koi logic taus. Ande ki flood bari rak thok pasi kai gu masi projects na loi raga le raga di tholak ka dore hai tholak hoy hai hai se hana in advance ta koi khang ma gamboto. Electronic telemetry river kudingi basin kudingi. Install tau ba. Adui internet na koi ki control room mande pull up any time da koi phang ba. Ki data se hum koi na central CPU Delhi the labour water resource ministry thar ka main analysis tau roga koi da ei noi du sin chau do re. Masi section low hai bese. Masi ye moi na forecast ma hai na pe kadho. The Land Port Authority of India under the Ministry of Home Affairs has assured that the only integrated check post ICP which is now under construction at Moray Gates number no. 1 will be operational within 2 months to oversee the works at ICP at Moray two officials of Land Port Authority of India Anil Bamba member of planning and development and PK Mishra director of projects are on a 3 day visit to Moray town Today, the two officials held a round of talks with several stakeholders, including personnel of Assam Rifles, National Highway Infrastructure Development Limited (NHIDCL), SP Technopal, Immigration Officer, officials of Department of Commerce and Industries (BSNL) and Land Customs to discuss the latest developments of ICP. They also visited Tamu in Myanmar. Morang Tem Premier has been awarded the first International Excellence Award for Service to Disabilities. Union Minister of Social Justice and Empowerment Dr. Thawar Chand Gelot presented the awards to him at the India International Center in New Delhi yesterday. The award is awarded in recognition of part of breaking work in the fields of inclusive education and empowerment of persons with disabilities through interventions in accessibility, advocacy, employment, sports and culture, those working towards empowerment of people with disabilities in their everyday lives or those living with disabilities that are role models for others like them. This includes schools, uh, teachers, uh, sports people, physiotherapists, activists, NGOs, etc., to name a few. The Supreme Court has asked the CBI to appoint a senior officer of the rank of DIG to monitor the investigation into the extrajudicious killings in Manipur so that the investigation can be concluded expeditiously. The order was issued on the 22nd of this month. The Eveninger Pounding Call today celebrated its 27th Foundation Day at Manipur Press Club. In his speech on the occasion, IPR Director Megachandra Kongbam spoke about the difficulties faced by those working in print media in Manipur. He said journalists carry out their day-to-day -day activities despite challenges. Megachandra said that media persons are like teachers of the society. He also said efforts are on to set up a press academy in the state and this will bring about a huge change in the state. Kuyi Manipur is so advertisement policies is same momentum so I could jump some dog with the cowboy. Masir, I could get this thing the labor, I could get dialect in newspapers in the Adigunj in the labor. Sapung singi, moising singi, hinga naba, I ready, la even some from the gay. Percentage ke amu boi da peer gadi moi hinga da ke hai baga se koi nai naba darka wale. Manipur lenga ke lele ba department mein amye rule kano evidence main singa se through I koi ke DIPR ke through da P1 hai bani. Adu bo high bo rule se I koi department singa se na kaisu naak ke adu na moi na marna mana hai po khabar acho ubo do na moi na pumpi le pichle pumpi le pichle pichle amne na apik pa paoxe singi de madu ki sakthum do phangre phangre amne na madu ki dislocation bhai am Manipur le. Kongjong police in Thobal district seized 576 bottles of Indian-made foreign liquor during a drive in connection with the general panchayat election at Kongjong, Chingtham Maninglekai. The liquor was seized from the house of Lema Pokpam Loken. 
Sources said the liquor was kept by Swabem Ibotombi at Loken's house. The liquor bottles were handed over to Excise Department. They were today set on fire along with 200 packets of country liquor in front of Kongjom Police Station. DSP Excise Thaubal District Raghu Leshang Tem said the destroyed liquor was worth around rupees 1 lakh. Residents of Charangpad in Wangkem constituency in Thawal district have shut down Charangpad PHC, demanding proper functioning of the centre. They also held a sit-in to press their demand before closing the health centre. The protesters said the 24 by 7 services of the centre stopped since May this year. They also alleged that there are only two doctors at the centre out of the four doctors required, causing grievous inconveniences to the public. Clubs and the people had submitted a memorandum to the authority after which the government posted a doctor for the PHC on July 15. However, the doctor has not yet come to the PHC. Now it's time for a small commercial break. We'll be right back in a short while. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. Kurai MLA had visited various areas in connection with the various developmental works to be taken in the constituency. Speaking to media persons during the visit, MLA Sushindro said he wants development in the constituency as it has been lagging behind and urged the people for their support. He also appeals to certain sections of people in the constituency not to spread false propaganda to delay developmental works in Kurai constituency. Kurai Kendra si hana sehi more than ten years mamang dagi ako si am na backward so na dumlak pa nito bu ako yung si Kurai Kendra si am siyang na chakot pa pami chakot na wonder po matamda ako yung kanu wonder i asida isda Kurai Kendra gi praja section amasung Kurai Kendra gi manung amasung mapan ato pa Kendra ay tar chakot na ba wonder i ba ako yung si tinta na bu wonder i ba kanggo ay ba tar mo ako yung am siyang na siyang siyap thad na wakay ng ang dana tauri ba siyang si so mo praja section siyang amasung manung amasung mapan Kendra gi mi am siyang na masida isda Sakop pada tinta nabo kau nari bising je, makoi makoi ngapi bunga moy, capca na wakil tara kan dah masana, gian tana kau nazar aga, masuk mba, kan bising je, ayat papi dana mba, makoi na nasi mayang mba, kau mba makoi nasi kian lagi menungcan mba, mayang je cakup mba, yang jero mba matam jeda, makoi sum bising je, makoi media lagi thong do pung do cakup ni aduna, kian lagi sida je, ini part of development nabo lakon tam da, sohjo pinner kan dah, aduga anau bukurai mba porok nabo kau nabo, mian nabo matieng pangbiu. District Legal Service Authority, Bishtupur District, under the aegis of Manipur State Legal Service Authority, organized one day awareness program on Juvenile Justice Act 2015 and Apoxo Act 2012 today at Loktang Ima Observation Home, Nambol Maibam. Maibam. A painting competition was also held for the children of the observation home. KSA Thawal District Council today launched its agitation to protect the indigenous people of the state. The protest was held not to allow non-locals from contesting election in all constituencies. The protesters also held a sit-in and formed human chain, chanting slogans at progressive school Wangjing. People of Nungai Maite village have appreciated the decision of the government to rebuild four houses which were destroyed by fire in a communal clash last year. Speaking to media persons at Manipur Press Club today, one Huidrom Dinesh of the village expressed satisfaction that the government has decided to compensate the families. He urged the government to help the affected Muslim families of Nungai. He lauded the efforts of Deputy Commissioner and SP of Thobal districts to provide compensation to the affected Awabu Ubizana, victim singi, Mating, Pangbiro Kidam Mokta, but victim singi, my gay degay, Emadi, Nungo Kunjasing, my gay degay, hiding a late in a Tagat Puntuxeri, Gomengi, official singina, Awaba Taraba, victim sing 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 sing, Emadi, compensation sing as a BBU, a doom double told the order that so open and crava, Lemho River. Kau kimi tadi singgi marak tadi siu amat di kau kimi tadi pangan gigi marak tadi asal apa nang kiba gigi awak ana mati yang pangbi kita bawa compensation sing siu kau tu lady bawa gome nasi na puning cangbi raga mak kau kimi awak apa adu siu atau bawa matamda yowina bawa kau kimi mak kau tadi amukan sing siu jadi. 
A team of Imphal West uh, District Police seized country liquor and beer bottles and cans in Sekmai and Kanglatombi this morning. The police seized 450 liters of country liquor, 42 beer bottles and 23 beer cans from 16 different vendors. Police said the police team of SDPO, Wankomba and OC Joy, led by additional SP Law and Order of Imphal West, Priyadarshini Lystrom, seized the liquors during search operation in Kanglatombi and Sekmai around 11.45 this morning. Police and villagers destroyed the seized liquors. Twenty-six Assam Rifles organized an ex-servicemen rally at Palel today. Ex-servicemen and widows of army men of Chandal and Technopal districts took part in the rally. Facilities for Aadhaar cards, PAN cards and opening SBI accounts were provided at the rally. A medical camp also was held at the event. वहें सभी वीर नारीज हमारे विडोज एक्स सर्विसमैन उनकी जीवन भर की जो त्याग है उनका बलिदान है उस वजह से है उसी का एक परिणाम मेरा ये मानना है कि किसी भी फोर्स का जो स्टैंडर्ड है वो जब भी बरकरार रह सकता है जब हम अपने वेटरन्स की भली वाली देखभाल करें और इसी वजह से हमारे असम राइफल्स में हमारा ये प्रायोरिटी है कि हम आपको जाने और आपके ग्रीवेंसेस को एड्रेस करें और आपको एडवाइस कर सके कि लेटेस्ट रूल्स रेगुलेशंस क्या हैं ताकि आपको उनसे फायदा हो। Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol Kada opened its unit at Saiton Bishnupur District yesterday. Office bearers for 2017 and 18 have also been elected. Thokchom Ombi Amurei will be the president of the unit. Patriotic Writers Forum Manipur and IRE Group of Institution Wang Jing felicitated three members of Patriotic Writers Forum Manipur who have been elected office bearers of Film Forum Manipur at the Conference Hall of Institute of Rural Education Wang Jing. As Mangol Jao, Rakesh Naurem and O.C. Meira were presented with a memento and gifts at the event. Vice Chairman of Patriotic Writers Forum Manipur, Yai School Kwairakpam, and the Principal of IRE Group of Institution Wang Jing, Narengbam Rajiv Kumar, were among those present at the event. Numit Kappa People's Revolution with Glimpses of a World's Revolution, written by Assistant Professor of History Dr. Imocha Morangtem, was launched today at Dave Literature Center on DM College campus today. The 114-page book is dedicated to unknown martyrs of the land who have sacrificed their lives for their motherland. Introducing the book, Associate Professor of Political Science R.K. Tocha said, the book recounts several revolutions that occurred in Manipur. The book mentions of 17 important revolutions in Manipur, especially the Women's War, 1904, and a revolt led by Hijam Iravat. The book was published by Educare Publisher. Manipur Motors Mantri Pukri today launched a Bajaj Auto Limited's uh, new Pulsar 160NS. Manipuri film actor Gokul Athokpam unveils the vehicle. Sales manager of Bajaj Auto Limited, Yogesh K. Pandey said, Pulsar 160NS is the most powerful 160cc bike in the market. It is now available in black and grey colours. It will also be available in red, blue and white colours. The ex showroom price of this vehicle is 86,109 rupees in Imphal. Now, news from the world of sports. Angtai FC and Isu Wangkai beat their rivals in the Morang Tem Ibobi Memorial First Division Football League Tournament. In a 25th league match played today at ABA Ground Ketrigao, Angtai FC thrashed a star club top Morang Kampu 3-0. While in the 26th league match, ESU Wangkai beat SWC Kongman 2-0. Eight teams are part participating in the tournament held under the aegis of Imphal East District Football Association. 27th and 28th league matches of the tournament will be played tomorrow.
ESU Wankai will meet uh, YPHU Lalambung in the final of 34th Manipur State Sub-Junior Boys Basketball Championship. In the first uh, league match played today, ESU Wankai defeated CYLC Tingamathag 58-49, while uh, YPHU Lalambung beat uh, YCU Ripok 49-40 in the second uh, league match. In the third league match, uh, CYLC Tingamathag defeated YCU Ripok 32-21. In the fourth league match, ESU Wankai beat uh, YPHU Lalambung 31-19. Four sub-junior boys teams are taking part in the championship held under the aegis of Manipur Basket Association at the basketball court of Brahmapur Nahabam Lekai. The closing ceremony will be held tomorrow. Gopal Dev Kankut Team B trash uh, Teka Kankut Pishum 18-13 in the 15th league match of the second Sri Sri Gopal Dev League Cup Knockout Kang tournament for 55 to 60 years today. The tournament, which kicked off on the 7th of this month, is organized by Sri Sri Gopal Dev Kankut. Six teams are taking part in the tournament. Thangmaiban Kankut will meet Gopal Dev Kankut Team A Yai School tomorrow. Lighton Jam Rishikanta has won the Junior Mr. Asia title in 70 plus kg at the 51st Mr. Asia Championship. Six players and a coach from Manipur represented the Indian team at the championship organized by World Bodybuilding and Physics Sports Federation at Seoul, South Korea from August 20 to 26. Lighton Jam Rishikanta from Patsway Part 4, a player of KBB Jim Terra Sapamlerak, backs the Junior 70 plus kg title at the event. Leighton Tem, Dinesh backed silver in the junior 70 kg category, while Tingbai Jam Sarita backed bronze in the 52 kg female category. Bobby, Rebita and Premanda from Manipur will compete in other categories tomorrow. Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Rishang Kaishing lets to rest with full state honours, leaders cutting across party lines pay last tribute to the late seasoned politician. In a landmark decision, the Supreme Court rules rights to privacy is a fundamental right under the Constitution. Minister Karam Sham says measures have been taken to check sale of LPG cylinders in black market. And Irrigation and Flood Control Department to introduce early flood warning system in Manipur.